purpose of this video is to demonstrate proper use and application of hard metal bands. Hard metal bands include stainless steel and ink alloy bands made of various alloys and can be more difficult to apply than aluminum bands. Using hard metal bands on some species will increase the value of marking because a hard metal band should remain on a bird and be readable for the duration of the bird's life. Hard metal bands should be used on species that tend to damage their bands, such as birds of prey, long-lived species that tend to lose aluminum bands due to extended wear, such as albatross and gulls, or birds that live in aqueous environments that tend to erode aluminum bands, such as shorebirds or sea ducks. The bird banding program provides a list of recommended band sizes for each species but it is the bander's responsibility to ensure that the most appropriate band size is used, taking into account individual variation. Use a leg gauge or calipers to verify the appropriate band size. Using the proper tools and technique in applying hard metal bands will reduce the chance for error and the need for band correction, thereby decreasing the risk of injury to birds during and after banding. Hard metal bands can be more difficult to open and close than aluminum bands. Their safe use requires practice and the correct tools for application and removal when necessary. The appropriate tools may be different from the ones you are currently using to apply aluminum bands. When you receive your bands from the banding office, they will be closed and on a wire. Quickly inspect the bands to ensure there are no imperfections such as sharp edges that could compromise the bird's well-being or illegible numbers that could make record keeping difficult. To open hard metal bands, you must use spreaders. We recommend opening hard metal bands with push spreaders because pull type spreaders are more difficult to use on hard metal bands. Be aware that fine tips on spreaders might be damaged or broken by hard metal bands. Using the pin on your banding pliers could cause the pin to break. Circlip pliers work well with hard metal bands and are used in this demonstration video. Circlip pliers have sturdy tips and are adjustable. If your spreaders are too small to open large size bands, you can use needle nose pliers in their place. The bands only need to be opened wide enough for the bird's leg to slide in. In order to reduce handling time in the field, bands can be pre-opened and placed on plastic tubing for easy storage and access. This is especially convenient when banding large numbers of birds, such as in a colony. There are various banding pliers on the market. Banding pliers should always be used to ensure proper band closure. It is important to use the best tool for the job and apply bands carefully, as band correction and removal can be complicated for hard metal bands. Although the internal diameter of hard metal bands is the same as aluminum bands, the external diameter may vary depending on the alloy used. Larger sized hard metal bands tend to spring back open when they are first closed. To close the band properly, place the edge of the pliers about one millimeter from the edge of the band and overlap it slightly. This generally must be done on both sides until a double click is heard when the edges come together. The first click is heard when the band overlaps a bit and the second click is heard when the band springs back into the correct position. If the pliers are placed further than one millimeter from the band edge when attempting the overlap, then a larger or more severe overlap can occur that will be difficult to rectify. If the band overlaps too much as shown here, it must be corrected before the bird can be released. Band corrections will be covered later in this video. The careful placement of the banding pliers and overlapping the band may need to be repeated until the band is properly closed. The best way to ensure safe application and prevent injury in the field is to practice as much as possible before banding birds. Practice at home on a substitute leg, such as a small metal rod or piece of tubing. To practice, open the band. If it opens unevenly, open it again from the other side so the gap is straight and even. Place the band on the pliers and insert the substitute leg for banding. To properly apply smaller sized hard metal bands, they need to be closed from three different angles in relation to the pliers opening. 
Line up the seam of the band and squeeze it shut at 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 1 o'clock. V bands work the same way as the large circular bands. Close the band, change the angle, close again, and then slightly overlap the edges until they spring back to an even position. Remember to listen for the double click. Repeat until proficient with all the band sizes you intend to use in the field. Practice is the best way to prevent injury to the birds. Improperly applied bands can injure the bird over time through abrasion, catching on vegetation, or strangulation of the leg. Improperly applied bands must be corrected before the bird is released. A gap left in an improperly closed band can cause injury to a bird or become entangled in vegetation. To close a gap, you must overlap the edge slightly so that it springs back to a more even position. Do this on both sides of the band. A spiraled band can produce sharp edges that can injure the bird's leg over time. It must be corrected by placing the pliers on the edges that are out of line, and then carefully pushing them past the point where they would line up. They should spring back to the proper position. If you have overlapped a band and there is still room to insert spreaders, carefully open the band until the edges are almost even, then dip the edges slightly until the band is properly closed. If it is not possible to correct an overlapped band using spreaders, then the band will need to be removed. Specialized band cutting tools are available from some manufacturers. Provided there is enough room between the leg and the band, place the band edges into the jaws of the pliers and close to slice the band in half. If necessary, the band can be slightly crimped using normal pliers to become oval shaped in order to provide enough room for the jaws. As with all band removal, extreme caution must be taken. As a last resort, the band should be filed off. This technique is time consuming and must be done precisely to avoid injury to the bird. Begin by filing the band on the side opposite of the overlap. File on an angle that avoids touching the bird's leg to reduce the chance of abrasion or injury. Use your fingers to guide the file. It must not touch the leg. Monitor the bird for signs of stress. Once the band is completely filed through, it can be removed from the leg. The band is then reported to the bird banding office as destroyed. Following these recommendations for applying hard metal bands will help ensure that birds are banded safely. Use hard metal bands for birds that can damage bands, are long-lived, or live in aqueous environments. Save time in the field, practice application techniques, and pre-open bands at home. Remember, birds must not be released wearing improperly applied bands. Please visit your banding office websites for more information and banding program recommendations.